Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about Genius. This is an application for the Mac. It's freeware, and I'll provide a link in the video description. And Genius allows you to make virtual flashcards, in a sense. Now, most of us are always trying to learn you know, new things, whether you're in school, whether you're just trying to gather more information. We're always trying to you know, gain some knowledge. And a lot of times, you need repetition to you know, gain knowledge the understanding and to fully commit it to memory. So instead of making flashcards or going through notes and all this paper, let's make it efficient. So once you download and install Genius, it'll look pretty much just like this. It's a very simple layout. You have going across study, learn and review, info, and notes. If you click info, it just gives you some information on the questions and notes provide you notes on a question. So let's say you wanted to add a note. Pretty simple. Let's say you wanted to add Let's say you were working on Spanish, so you wanted to say, Como estas? So you're trying to learn basic Spanish. So you're trying to figure out what this means. So Como estas means how are you? So that's how you add the question. And if we go to info here, you can group it, you can add a certain type to it, you can define all that stuff, but really you don't need to do that. But the way I like to separate my things instead of going to different groups is just to make new documents, I guess you could call it, with the different subjects. So let's say I was working on some biology, and we can just close this. And I wanted to review cellular respiration. You have this slider here, and basically it controls how you know, informative or how much you actually know the information. So if you're just starting out, you can drag it over to the learn side. And what it'll do on the learn side is it'll show you the question and it'll show you the answer. So you can look at it and commit it to memory. As you as it moves through and you move it up to more review, you'll get less of those questions where it shows you the answer and more of them where it won't show you the answer and you'll just have to give you the answer. So it's really a good way. So let's say you only wanted to do you were studying for a giant test and you wanted to work progressively, let's say the test was a week away, you could enter in all the information, start out with just learn, and then move up to review, and the day before the test, if you can go through everything when it's on review, then you should be good to go. But how does this actually play? We'll click study, and it gives you some information about before you study, it talks about different research and uh, brain waves. So if you, you want to see that every time, you can, but you can also click don't remind me again, whatever you want. Now the screen gets blank a little bit, and it'll a it'll start asking you the question. So in this case, after glycolysis, what occurs in animals when no oxygen is present? So that's anaerobic respiration, but more specifically, that's lactic acid. If I can type fermentation. What type of phosphorylation takes place in glycolysis? That would be substrate level. But let's say I didn't type this correctly. It would show me the correct answer and it would have this here and what you could do is you could press skip if you never want to saw this question again but in this case I knew the answer was substrate level but I mistyped it you can actually press did you get it right yes and that way the computer will remember that you got it right for the statistics when you're going through so typos are really avoided here so why must energy be stored in sugar and not kept in ATP cannot exist for long and oh I mean for what I'm trying to study here, obviously I need to know more information about that. But if I know, you know, ATB cannot study for long, then that'll re I'll remember in my head, oh, it's because it would disassociate with itself and a phosphate group would fall off and it wouldn't be useful anymore. So you can enter in everything or you can just abbreviate it just so you remember. Or in this case, I said ATP cannot exist for long, but the answer was ATP doesn't exist for long. So again, that would obviously be correct. What type of phosphorylation? We did this one already. Wow. Typos everywhere. Is the product of electrons passing through the electron transport the same in cellular respiration and photosynthesis? Yes, electrons. Now this one is a new question that I recently added. So this is what I'm talking about when it's more over to the learn section instead of review. It'll show you the question, what exists in cellular respiration, Calvin cycle or Krebs cycle, and it'll give you the answer, and it'll show you what you could have typed. And there we go. So now you remember that item. So what type of phosphorylation takes place? Substrate level, what exists, and it'll give us that new question. And also it's not case sensitive, 
so I can show you that. Well, that didn't work because I forgot the apostrophe. But you got the idea. It's not so it's not case sensitive, so you don't have to worry about that. So again, that's the learn side. You can move it all over to review, and it'll show you your score here. There we go. It's pretty easy. It's a really good application. I definitely think you should download it because we're always trying to commit more things to memory. And just the last thing I want to mention, as you can see here, when you get it up to five times correct, then it'll put it at green so you know that you know the question and you know the answer pretty well. And what also is cool is if you get it right, you'll get a one. But if the next time you get it wrong, that happens sometimes with certain specifics. So it'll subtract one and it'll bring you back down to zero. So again, this is Genius. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com with HD video reviews at youtube.com slash the revived one. I hope you enjoy using Genius to help you study with any information you need. Thanks for watching and have a good day.